All right, so we are here with another Obsessions. It's been a while, but as I tell you guys all the time, we do obsessions when we're actually obsessed about things. So it doesn't, I would love for it to be a monthly obsession, but some months are kind of dry. Uh, we're gonna go in the freezer, it's all in the freezer. And I threw out the packaging for this because that's what we do, we just take it out of the package and throw it in there to save space. But these little paletas, oh my God. Like, I mean, it's nothing new, I've eaten them before, but um, you can find them at Jewel, and that's pretty crazy because you couldn't used to find, like you had to find a paleta guy, right? <laughs> to get your hands on one of these. But another reason I like them is they're tiny. So like I can eat three, which is the equivalent of eating like one, but not even, because it's only 120 calories if you eat three, and some ice creams go way beyond that. Um, so I can kind of distribute them throughout the day and feel like I've treated myself all day long. I don't know about distributing them all the day. <laughs> Sometimes I don't distribute them. I have another one, and another one, and another one. Uh, you just get really addicted. But yeah, they're super good. If you love um, like a little bit of spice to mango or lime, you're gonna love this. I'm not eating it. It doesn't it's have awesome. that's much, that's much spice. If you suck on it, it does. But if you just gobble it up, you don't taste anything, which is what I did the first time because I was really disappointed. I'm like, I wish it was a little spicier, but now that I'm taking my time. And we open it in the car, we're like, all right, another one. Right. <laughs> um, but since we're here, I figured I'd go over all the ice cream we're totally obsessed with because they have their perks and reasons for why. I love this, all natural, no added sugar. It's completely from fruit. Even the color is fruit, so um, you don't feel bad giving it to your little one. This one is 35 calories per popsicle we go on walks now yeah we started that um, and we take one along with us if we go in the backyard jump on the trampoline kick the ball around it's something we can quickly grab and it's kind of like anyone like when they put Papa Cho it's good yeah you for some this. reason the creators of Papa Cho I don't know maybe they have this like thing where they only go for more natural and good ingredients because I was so afraid because Peppa Pig is not on board with that let me tell you Get on board with that. Um, she used to be addicted to Peppa Pig, but all the ingredients were shit, and I'm like, no! How do you say no, you know? But Paw Patrol is good with that. Anything Everything is pretty found, natural. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty it's cool. good. Another thing I love, the, this, I think it's Yazo ice cream. Um, it's made from Greek yogurt, and the reason I love it is Lila, I mean, she, she ain't gonna eat a steak, you, you know? It it's, it's weird for her to eat meat she doesn't like it but she does need protein it's very impro important that kids get protein for brain development this is five grams of protein per bar she eats two sometimes three and I don't feel bad low sugar it's Greek yogurt Ooh. Uh, was there another one <laughs> our, our paletas from Aldi coconut amazing it's not macro friendly, let me just say. Nine grams of fat. Oh, I thought it was higher, like 11 or something. Nine is not too bad. Uh, 140 calories, see? One, one bar, 140. Three big. bars, 120. But they are amazing, which is but why we keep eating them. They're pretty big. Even though they're not macro friendly. They are pretty big, I can show you. Because I'm even surprised we kept it in the box. So obviously there's a difference. But, um, so those are the ice creams. We are absolutely obsessed with. I wasn't gonna show you the rest, but I figured if I'm showing you this one, I'll show you the other ones. It's worth it, it's worth it. I love it a lot. Let me know what you think. I think we're done in the kitchen. We're done in the kitchen. Uh, we're, <laughs> we're gonna go upstairs, but before that, we're gonna take a little detour. Um, upstairs, we're gonna show a couple clothing. Um, these are, these are one of them. I really love these shorts from Old Navy. Uh, they're clothed, so they don't really squeeze. I like that they're a little bit longer at the bottom because that like helps, you know, show your booty. Do you see the booty good? Yes. All right, so it shows your booty good. Um, I don't know, overall they feel good and they fit big butts. That's amazing, you know, cause like Old Navy is never, their bottoms don't work for me from Old Navy. I would buy tops and dresses. The bottoms were like, no, no. Found some great jeans from there. You yeah. won't believe it. Someone has said like, no, don't go to Old Navy. Come yeah, on. don't go to Old Navy if you got a booty. Things have changed. So I'm going to show you guys that. Let's head to our detour and show you guys what's happening in that room. All right, so here we really, really need your input because we've been kind of going crazy about this. We even had his cousin try to help us and we still end up with no solution in the end. I mean, I did, I was convinced yesterday. But then I was not convinced once we put it, once we got the furniture. We just got the furniture today in this room. 
I love it. I love it. We are changing the floors in our entire house because they are orange and I've always hated them. And I just found out they're not wood floors. I mean, it's like partial wood and the rest is not real wood. I did not know this. I think upstairs it's real wood, but down here it's not. And then there's just patches in the front and by the laundry room. So we're thinking of stripping it. We were going to strip the entire thing. That was the plan. And then stain it. However, we were told it's not wood, so we can't do that. Which, this is better, because it's more cost effective. We are just going to put it uh, on top of it. On top of it. Um, so we're trying to decide, and yesterday I had finally said this was the one I was gonna do. It looks kind of greenish gray. I don't know if you see it in camera, but it definitely looks greenish gray. All right, so, so now, uh -uh. For them to help us start, one, two, three, four. Oh, okay. If you like this brown one, say one. If you like this dark one, say two. By the way, um, just a quick note, we are painting our stairs black. They're gonna be black and white. Um, so that's why the, we chose the darker one to kind of help with the stair idea, but I think it'll look good in any. Three, if you like this really light gray, almost white. So that's how it looks on top. Uh, yeah, if you compare it to the furniture. Four, if you like this, it's more like a rough style looking thing. I said no. Cause I'm like, it's always gonna look dirty. <laughs> I really liked this one, but I do see green. So I'm probably canceling that one out completely. I love this one. It is brown, but like a soft brown, no like overly red or weird colors in it. It's like a soft one. Um, this one's, I, I don't know what to say about this one. It's really nice actually, right? I like it. It has, it has a little bit of brown. It has a little bit of gray, dark gray, light gray. Looks good, looks good. Here it's gonna be kind of harder because it's against the sun or against the windows. You don't see it. Um, brown. I don't know if I like that actually. <laughs> I don't know if I like that one. I think it's too much. Too much pattern. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Too much pattern. I don't know if I like that one either. <laughs> I don't think I like that one. This one's nice too. It looks smooth, clean, but I'm not sure. I'm digging the brown in there. So I think it's more between these. So it's one. Two, three, four, five, six, or seven. Let me know. We gotta go buy a super sized carpet. We still need the fan. Shh. What are the curtains? This room has a lot of work to do. And unfortunately, we are doing it all ourselves. All of it. That's my I, I don't I don't mind labor, I just mind height, so good luck. So help good us luck. on the Help us with the floor and the walls. What were we doing? Going upstairs to show you guys my new clothes that I like. So let's go upstairs. Well, and the plants are they there? Well, I mean, they're. I mean, we just put them there. They're not staying there. <laughs> I mean, we're gonna have a lot of work to do with like moving plants around, but yeah, that's not set in stone. Just kind of put them there for placement to show you guys. But yeah, all right, let's go. All right. So in here, by the way, I have big old mess here. Um, I've been trying to find really good shorts. And I kind of, well, I started buying one, two, three, and then I was like, you know what? Every time I buy shorts and then I wear them in a video, everyone wants to know where those shorts are from. So I'm just going to do a haul. That way, if you ever ask, I'm like, oh, I direct you back to that video where the links are there because I suck at that, you know, and I'm not going to be able to tell you when you want to know randomly. I'm There's like, oh, wait, nice let ones. me go find a link. I never find the time to do that. There are really nice ones in there. Some great workout stuff, peaks, peaks of things, you know, um, but yeah, you, you're gonna have to wait for that. A lot that I bought that are shit that are going back, so I'm doing the, the dirty work for you, you know? So first, Old Navy, these pants, they're amazing. If I could get them in other colors, I would, but they completely sold out in my size, so I couldn't. I'm really into these like little cover-up cardigan things. I'm just gonna show them to you because I like them with shorts. Um, but I'm really into it. I love how long they are. I don't know, they're just so cute. That's kind of my thing lately. If, if you haven't noticed, um, and then another one that I got from Old Navy that I'm just gonna put that there. That's how I make my my closet messy. I don't push it back. <laughs> this one, it's got a hoodie. It's so cute, and it's a big hoodie, so you can like totally cover yourself if you just feel like it. You know, you're having one of those days you want to cover up. Is this not just reflect coziness? Or look like a boxer. Or look like a boxer. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I really like it. Old Navy. Old Navy, both of these. I'm in love. I'm in love. Um, I'm going to show you guys the, the pants. I'll try them on just so you know I'm not bullshitting you. They are recent purchases, so you will be able to find them. Um, if it wasn't recent, I wouldn't even bother showing you guys. It is called the Secret Slim Pocket Style. Um, clever Front Pockets 
hold you for a slimming effect. Ooh, so look at that. Uh, they're the Rockstar one, size four, high waist, super skinny. I'm gonna show you these first. <sighs> I was about to jump right into my chandelier. <sighs> uh, and yes, this is how everyone puts on pants. They hug. Okay, I gotta do some squats in them. Stretch them out a little. Okay. Alright, so they hug the waist really nice. I like that about them. If you stand just normal, you have a booty. You know, you don't even gotta pop it. A lot of jeans sometimes like just compress the shit out of your ass. You ain't got no ass, you know? I love that it's tight on my legs. I don't know why. I hate when it's like loose around the knees or, or below the knee, which happens a lot for me. Maybe my skinny calf problem, I don't know. But I don't like that look. I'm breathing really hard. That was a lot of work putting these pants on. It's like cardio. <laughs> I'm gonna start sweating. I am sweating. <laughs> Anyways, uh, but yeah, I really like them. The fit is perfect. The booty looks good. It's a little tight, but I don't mind. It does compress the butt a little bit, but they overall look really good. These are the same size six. Maybe that's why they fit a little more different, but they are much more stretchy. These are his favorite. Even though they're the same rock star secret slim pocket, pant, high waist, super skinny, same thing, just different color. Um, so these are really cute too. I think they flatter my butt the most because they don't squeeze as hard. These are a bit more stiff material. Gotta watch for that chandelier. Okay. All right, slim on the waist. The color is really nice. It's kind of like a dressy pair of jeans. Like you could just throw on a pair of heels with it and it looks good. I, it's just, it's nice on the butt. Like you see the bump good, right? On these, probably more than the other ones. I don't know if the wind is, if the window was reflecting on it, but I kid you not. I am super impressed with old navy jeans right now. I think I want to buy more. Are they not cute? I think they're cute. Did I have anything else? I think that was it. The cardigans, the two jeans, the shorts. Definitely go buy these. They had a lot of styles, but they're all out of mine. These are the only ones that size? fit me in my that? size. Like size two, I think. Size two. Old Navy so weird. Size four, size two, size six. They don't take you, sizes serious. They make you feel good. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really care. <laughs> I mean, they look big just to begin with. I was like, when I when I look at a piece of clothing, I just measure it against me. If it meets halfway and halfway, you know it's going to fit. If it's smaller, don't even try it. If it's really big and you like the loose then, style, go for it. But And camera did look huge. So What did look huge? Those. When I held them up, yeah. they look huge. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, they fit great. So. I'm really hot, so i got to get back into those, which are my favorite. See the fit of these, they're just so good. Like you don't find shorts that like, I hate when shorts are too short because they don't give you a nice curve. Whereas this like you have a curve and then you see that the short goes down um, rather than the shorts just ending like right by your butt. You know what I mean? I don't know, I've always liked them a little bit longer. People call them mama shorts. I don't care, at least my, my butt looks nice. good in these this way because the light, yeah. at least my butt looks good in them. You know, why wear shorts that your butt doesn't look good in them? I like them. I like them a lot. Anyways, I think we're done in here. We're gonna go back downstairs for some of Lila's favorites and Mama favorites, and then some fun favorites. So let's go. This is an odd one, guys. We're taking you into the bathroom. Um, I, I, as a mom, appreciate this very much. And I think my daughter does too, because she doesn't want to drop her butt into the toilet. Look at this potty seat. This is so amazing. First of all, it's a step, because I first bought her one of these, but it was shit. Like, it was bad. It just moved around the, the toilet too much. And then I was like, well, I need a step thing for her. So I was going to buy her a step thing. But this one, look out. You got to use the bathroom. Bam, you gotta use this, lift, down. And it, it allows independence, cause you know, she stabilizes herself as she gets up and she does her own thing, and so. she does it herself. 
Yeah, she does it herself. So that's that's what's amazing. I, I'm tired. It's, I'm having to do yes. everything all the time. She switch from one day to another. <laughs> from one day to another. She's like, I, I got this. I got this. Let me be. Um, she, I let her pick it out on Amazon. There are different colors. I do not want this color. We'll I actually them. hate this color. They had like pale, very pale pinks, almost white, and blues that were almost white, which looked more sophisticated, but she picked that one. And I couldn't say no, because I wanted her to use it. Now, another couple things my mamas are gonna like. A uh, Nintendo Switch, which I was all no about it. I was iffy about it, because I'm like, will she like it? It's a lot of money. What if she doesn't play? What if she doesn't get the concept? What if she hates video games? He's like, come on, she plays the old Nintendo 64. It is called Nintendo 64, right? Yeah. No, Nintendo. Just Nintendo. Yeah. The 64 was the upgrade, right? Yeah. That was my time. You're an oldie. Yeah. I was around with Nintendo 64. <laughs> um, so we got her that one. It ended up being amazing. And it, she's really freaking good. Like She hands me the thing to play and not, like, help her. I'm like, I don't know how to do this. Like I suck. I'm sorry, baby. I don't know how to do this. I'll try and I fail. And then I just hand it to daddy. And now she just goes directly to him. Later, just because we're talking about it. So that came out really awesome, but one of her favorite games is The Incredibles Lego. And there's like little missions that she needs to complete, and That's they kind of talk her through it. It's really good. He always wants to play it, but she's like, no, me. And he's like, come on, let me play. He's going to use my account because I have an account on it, and she does, so that he can play it too. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I guess kid friendly and adult friendly. Um, she it likes makes, that one makes a lot. Think a lot. Yeah. So I'm surprised how good she does. But if With you want, the, well, it kind of helps you. There's like a little arrow. I need to yeah. use the arrow because I don't know what the hell I'm doing half the time. Um, so there's like a little arrow that guides you to a new mission and you kind of have to follow. But if you want to start first, it will be that. If one. you want to see if your kid can do it, um, this is a really easy one. She outgrew it pretty quickly. So if your kid is already advanced in video games, they will probably grow out of it really she fast. Three days. Like in, yeah, but that's because she was already playing Nintendo and other stuff. And someone came over who had the Switch and she was playing it. So she kind of had an idea. But if you're starting off, this one's a really good one um, that I know of. And then this one was actually hard, but it was her first. But she got the hang of it. She loves the skateboarding one. I love the basketball one, but she doesn't understand the concept yet or like what buttons to hit. I really like the basketball one. Um, but we do skateboarding. The golf is pretty good too. They're all pretty good on this one. And the new so one, cool one. Still gotta try. The dance one. I want her to break free and dance. She doesn't move. But I'm happy lately she started loving music. She loved music as a baby, loved it. Taylor Swift, her absolute favorite, and then I just went blank, Bruno Mars. She loved it every morning. She went through this phase where she wanted to turn music. He's like, better light this way, go there. She didn't want to hear any music. She'd get mad, it was weird for a long time. I finally switched. Now she's always like, mommy, music, let's dance, but she doesn't want to dance, so I kind of want her to like, I don't know, teacher, it's break okay, loose. just break loose, do it. Who cares, mama and daddy ain't gonna judge you. I ain't a great dancer, and I still do it, so whatever. Um, so that's another thing. Um, new movie, show, series, show, I wanna call it, Flugals. You love your Flugals? Yeah. yeah. What I love about it as a parent is it's very educational and it teaches a lot and she enjoys it. So she's learning a lot and she enjoys it. And she, my God, she says the darnest thing sometimes. Yeah, I mean, this one has four hours of fun and then we bought her. I watch. <laughs> you wanna watch it, yeah. okay. Um, and then Amazon Prime, we bought season two. This is season one and we bought her season two and all the episodes so she can watch one there and then she gets TV. Lost. She gets so lost in it, but I love how they talk because they don't baby talk. You know how like a lot of shows they baby talk, but then your kid baby talks and I mean, it's cute and all, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying baby talk is bad, but to watch something more sophisticated with bigger words and they don't t treat you like a child, but you're entertained and she loves it. I'm like, hell yeah, teach her us speak at a young age. They're, they're, you know? they're actually aliens, but she thinks they're aliens, but she thinks they're ants because of their antennas. Yeah. That's why. Uh, but yeah, that's a really good one if you want to kind of like not just entertain but have them learn something while it's happening. Now we're going to do the funnest one. You want to show everyone the funnest one? She's like, I don't, I'm not on board with you, so I don't know how to answer this. Do you want to go outside? Yeah! <laughs> it's our 
it's our big ass trampoline. I was so worried about buying it because it was expensive and I'm like, what if she gets tired of it? Am I too close to you? <laughs> um, she gets tired of things and then it's like, oh, that was such a waste of money, child. She's not tired of it. It's actually low-key sometimes like, I can't go out there, but then you feel bad because you're like, well, that's what you bought it for, to get her outside. But it's a lot of fun for adults too. We have a lot of fun in here, right? Yeah. Yeah. I want it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> everything we can link nothing is ever sponsored if it is we'll let you know but if it's linkable I'll link it for you guys uh, anyways we're gonna end the vlog here I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did hashtag love it be sure to like the video so I know you like these kind of videos make sure to be subscribed and most importantly hit the little bell right by the subscribe button so you're notified every time we post a video since they are kind of scattered lately we don't want you to miss out on videos I know a lot of you have been writing me on Instagram Florina when are you gonna post a video and I did but y'all are missing it maybe you don't have the notifications on so anyways do that until next time bye guys <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh,